Jocelyn Mintzloff looks like a lot of 27-year-old women trying to start her life. But what you don't see is the tragedy she's already had to endure. Is it wild to be a widow at such a young age? Yes. Yeah, it was nothing that I expected. I never once considered that I would be a widow. Two years ago, Jocelyn married Army Staff Sergeant Brian Mintzloff. They were married only a few months before he was deployed to Iraq for his third tour of duty. In that short time, she says he became her world. He was my best friend. He was somebody, you know, that I could tell anything to, share anything with. But two months after Brian left for Iraq... They called me on the phone while I was, while I was at work. He was killed in an accident while on duty. I mean, I knew then, but on one hand, I didn't believe it either. No, he must, must be wounded. Twelve days later, <laughs> Jocelyn buried her best friend and husband. Not only does his life end that day, but our entire future ended that day. Jocelyn remembers feeling alone, unsure of what to do. No 20-year-old is going to know how to bury a husband. Mm -hmm. and. No one around her is going to know how to help her. And in the weeks that followed, she began seeking other widows to connect with. You don't feel comfortable in your own skin. You feel so estranged mm -hmm. from everybody else. Jocelyn searched for groups to join, but never found what she was looking for until she met Taryn Davis, a recent war widow who founded a new organization called the American Widow Project. Being, you know, with the American Widow Project and interacting with other widows, you know, allows you to you know that they're all the same. Well, this is the perfect project then for you, isn't it? Yes, definitely. I mean, the American Widow Project is definitely military widow to military widow sharing stories about her husband. They did everything to help their country, to help another country. You know, so what, what can we do but help the wives of the men they fought alongside? And since the project began, Jocelyn says the response has been overwhelming. There seems to be such a thirst for this because, you know, in just five months, we have 120 widows that are a part of this project. The project offers a 24-hour emotional support hotline that will always be answered by a fellow widow. And on the group's website, widows can share their stories in a special chat room. You know, I think it makes them feel better that they can read these other stories from women who are four years out or women who are two months out and, and feel like the widows are really speaking to them. I'm 25. I'm not supposed to be a widow. The group produced its own documentary, which will be used to reach out to other widows. It'll be distributed free of charge to every, you know, existing military widow and all the, you know, unfortunately, the widows to come. The documentary will premiere in Austin later this month, and Jocelyn hopes it will show the husbands and wives of those lost they are not alone. If I had had the American Widow Project in those first few weeks or a few months even, it would have made an extreme difference. In, in my life and I, I am so thankful to have it now. Does it get easier every day to, to move on and to move forward? No, <laughs> no. I, I remember at the year point I was like I can never say last year he was alive. But she says she finds comfort through writing and in the friendships and bonds she's made with the American Widow Project. These are women that in 20 or 30 years I'm still going to be talking to on a very regular basis.